sports fans, baseball fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back with another Back to Basics baseball game. I think I got a little better setup this time for you. Um, you can see the field here, but um, I have the score down here under the field, and I have the inning will be up here. Um, above the playing field. Got my cards here, my uh, split deck. And today we're going to play the 85 White Sox. So you will recall I played in a previous game against the 80 A's and they lost. They were home at that point and I pitched Floyd Bannister because I loved Floyd Bannister. He was awesome, loved him. But today we're gonna pitch uh, arguably the ace of the 85 White Sox, and that was Tom Seaver. And he was 41 in 1985. And going up against him will be uh, the for the 76 Royals will be Dennis Leonard. So you got the 85 White Sox versus the 76 Royals and um, Dennis Leonard on the mound for the um, 76 Royals. Now in 1985, Tom Seaver was 16 and 11. And um, in 1976, Dennis Leonard was 17 and 10. So the starting lineup for the White Sox will be Rudy Law in center field, Tim Hewlett in, at third base, Harold Baines at right, uh, Ron Kildon left, Carlton Fisk at catcher, Greg Walker at first base, Ozzie Guillen at shortstop, Scotty Fletcher will play second base, and the DH will be Tom Pachorek, who did not play in the first game against the 80 A's. And uh, the 76 Royals will line up as Amos Otis in center, Hal McCray in left, George Brett at third, John Mayberry at first, Al Cowens at DH, Tom Paquette in right field, Freddie pa Patek at shortstop, Frank White at second, and Bob Stinson will be the catcher for the 76 Royals today. And so without any further delay, let's get on with this game. The first batter is Rudy Law, and he's taking his cuts, getting ready to bat against Dennis Leonard. And you have a, uh, and by the way, Dennis Leonard is a pitcher B and Tom Seaver is a pitcher B as well. And on pitcher B, you got swing. So we're going to pick another card and see what the swing is, referring to the batter section. Rudy Law is a C batter and what he gets is a pop out to catcher. So that's one down and Tim Hewlett at the plate. A B pitcher again, it's a swing, and he is a C plus uh, batter, and he gets a ground out to third base. So that will be five to three. And Harold Baines is up. Hell Baines, and he gets against a B pitcher, a swing, and uh, he is an A batter, and an A batter gets a ground out to third base with a possible error so let's see the third baseman is his e rate it's george brett and his e rating is a c and we will uh, pick another card and refer to the error rating and c is an out so he is out he grounds out to brett and the white Sox go one two three and uh, that'll bring to the plate Amos Otis. And again, I make my own cards for uh, Back to Basics. If you are familiar with the game, you know that they give you a PDF. And the intent of the game is that you write all the ratings into the score sheet and keep score that way. But I prefer to have my own cards, so I make the cards based on the ratings in the game or in the, in the PDFs. Amos Otis against a B pitcher. He gets a swing, and uh, he is a B batter, and a B batter gets a home run if he's a C plus. Otherwise, it's a double, and he is 
not a C plus. He just barely misses being that, so he does get a double. And uh, we have to get some base markers. All right, so Amos Otis is aboard with a double, and that brings up Hal McRae. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a um, A-plus batter, and an A-plus batter gets a double and knocks in a run. So uh, you, have an, you have a run, run a cube scoring after that. So it is one nothing, and uh, George Brett is up. Last thing um, Tom Seaver wanted to see. Against a B, he's a swing. Everybody is swinging. And uh, he is an A-plus batter as well. He gets a single with one asterisk, so the runner stops at third. And you've got an, a single runner going to third. And uh, Tom Seaver is in real trouble here. John Mayberry is up. Against a B batter, or a B pitcher, he gets a swing. And he is a D batter, and a D batter gets a ground out to third base. And um, that will, the infield wasn't in, so that will advance the uh, runners. One away. Two. With Al Collins up and one down. And he gets a... Fly out to left field with a possible range check on the left fielder. The left fielder is uh, Ron Kittle, and his range is a B. Pick the next card, and the range for a B says he is indeed out, so he flies out to Kittle. Cowens does. And uh, that brings up Tom Paquette. With two down and a man at second. Against a B pitcher, he has a swing. And he is a an A batter. And he gets a double. So he doubles in a run. It's 3-0. <laughs> All right, come on. Nothing to see here. Please disperse. Nothing to see here. Please And that brings up Freddie Patek. Against a B batter, he gets a swing. He is a D batter, and a D batter gets a single with one asterisk. And man, Tom Seaver is in. I mean, this is really the worst outing I think I've ever seen Tom Seaver, the real Tom Seaver, or a make believe Tom Seaver, as in this case, have. Runners are at the corners with two down. Against a B pitcher, it's a swing for um, Frank White. He is a batter D. And a D batter gets a strikeout. Um, if he's a D or an F, it's striking out. Um, and he isn't. So it's a regular out, and it's an out to second base. So Frank White makes a 4-3 to three out. And mercifully, Kansas City is out of the first inning and we are now in the top of the second so i make that change top of the second three nothing and ron kittle is up against a b uh, pitcher he gets a swing he is a d batter and a d batter gets a walk if he's an a b c or a d at walking and he is so he gets a walk. He's aboard. That's the first base runner today for the uh, White Sox. And Carlton Fisk is going to follow him. Carlton Fisk gets a swing. And he is a D batter. And a D batter gets a walk if he's an A or a B at walking. And he isn't. So that is going to be... Um, we will find... Um, on the out card, he is out second base, and we will see uh, whether that is an uh, error, um, um, whether the uh, runner, well, the runner has, no, it could be a double play. All right, so that was a fielder's choice. Runner at first is Carlton Fisk now, and there is two, I believe, two down, right? Or no, no, only one down.
but one down and Greg Walker is up against a B pitcher. He gets a ground out C um, with a possible range check. And uh, let's see. Ground out to the catcher. Yeah, ground out to the catcher um, with a possible range check on the catcher. That's Stinson. He's an F. We go to range and F and it's a single. So he works a single as Stinson can't throw him out. And that's a base hit for Walker. And Ozzie Gian is up. A little threat going. They gotta make they gotta make good on it. It's a swing by Gian. He is a batter C plus. C plus gets a single one asterisk and the bases are loaded with only one out. And that brings up Scotty Fletcher. He gets a swing. And he is a batter C, and a batter C gets uh, ground out to second base, and that is going to be um, okay. That's going to be a fielder's choice, and a run will score on it. And there's two down. So who was that, Fletcher? Yeah. So there's two down, and a run does come in. And that brings Tom Pachorek to the plate. He gets a B uh, against a B pitcher. It's a ground out shortstop with, um, a, with a range check. And uh, what was that ground ball to who? Second base? Shortstop. And the shortstop's range, that's Pottek, and he is a B. And a B on range is an out. So Pachorik was out, and they only get one run there in the top of the second. We're in the bottom of the second, and uh, coming up for the Royals is Bob Stinson. Seaver is going to stay out there for, at least for the second inning, or at least to start the second inning. He gets a swing, and he is a batter C, and a batter C gets a strikeout. Um, if his strikeout is an F, and it isn't, so it's really actually a ground ball um, to the shortstop. One away, and Stinson is out. Let's see, ground out, uh, uh, six to three. Amos Otis is up. Amos Otis gets a strikeout if he's if the pitcher is an A or a B at striking out, and um, he isn't. So that is going to be a uh, ground out to the shortstop. So Amos Otis is out, and now all of a sudden these guys can't get on can't even get on base against Seaver, and Hal McRae steps up. Against a B pitcher, he gets a strikeout. If the pitcher is an A strikeout, he isn't, so it's really a ground out to the shortstop. Top of the third, and you're back at the top of the order for the White Sox with Rudy Law. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a batter C, and a C is a walk. If he's an A, B, or a C at walking, he isn't. And so uh, what that um, ends up being is a uh, an out to the catcher. So that's one away. So that was uh, two to three. He's out, and... Tim Hewlett is up. Tim Hewlett gets a line out to first base. That's two away, and Harold Baines is up. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a batter A. And an A is a strikeout if the pitcher is an F strikeout, and he isn't. Um, or if, if, if the batter's an F strikeout, and he is not, so he actually grounds out to third, and the White Sox go pretty quickly in the third as well. All right.
right bottom of the third, and they are going to keep Seaver out there again. And George Brett is the batter, one of the best hitters on their team. He gets a ground out to first with a possible error check. The first baseman is Walker, and his error is a C, and uh, that is an out. So he is out, um, out three. John Mayberry is up. Now all of a sudden, Seaver's shutting him down. That is a ground out to the shortstop. So he goes six to three. And Al Cowens is up, and he gets a walk. There's two down, and he walks. With Cowens aboard, you got Tom Paquette up. Paquette had a big hit, a double, I think, in the first inning. Um, yes, he did. And uh, against a B, he gets a walk if he is a... If the um, pitcher is a B, C, D, or an F at walking. And he is. So Paquette gets a walk, and now they've got two guys aboard. Let's hope that uh, Seaver isn't slipping back into his bad habits that he had from the first inning. Freddie Patek is up, and he gets a walk if the pitcher is a D or an F at walking. And he isn't, so instead that is a ground out to second. Freddie Patek is out, 4-3, to three, and that ends the threat for the Royals. Top of the fourth inning, and Kittle is up at the plate against the B pitcher. Uh, Dennis Leonard obviously still out there. He's winning right now. That's a walk if the pitcher is an F walker, and he isn't, so that's a one away to the to uh, Kittle and uh, he actually grounds out to second base four to three Carlton Fisk is up he gets a strikeout so that's the first K I think for Dennis Leonard and Greg Walker is at the plate against the B he gets a strikeout so Dennis Leonard gets his first two strikeouts here at what you could say is a pretty key time and we're going to the bottom of the fourth. And Frank White is up for the Royals. The score is 3-1 to one Royals. And uh, Frank White gets a strikeout. That is going to be the first strikeout for Tom Seaver, who has caught a second win since that terrible first inning. That's a swing by Bob Stinson, who is a... Um, C batter and a C batter gets a home run if he's um, a D home run. And he is. Bob Stinson gets a home run. So um, that was crazy. And that is another run for the uh, Royals. Who now have four runs. And I don't think we're going to have, um, I don't think we're going to have the dude out there very much longer, Seaver. Amos Otis is up. He gets a swing. He is a batter B. And a B gets a walk if he is an A, B, C, or a D at walking. And uh, he is. So with one down they're they're starting to get to uh they're starting to get to uh Seaver again Hal McCray is up that's a swing and he is a better A plus and an A plus gets a home run if he's a C um and he is he's well no no he isn't he isn't a C home run otherwise it's a deep fly to right so he gets two away McCray is out. And that brings up George Brett with two down and a runner at first. And he gets a swing and he is a batter A+. Plus and an A plus gets a hit by pitch. Good 
John Mayberry up. Uh, that is a pop out to shortstop. So the Royals get out of that inning with, um, they do come away with a run. And he is still facing Dennis Leonard. And he gets a line out to shortstop. Guillen does. Leading off the fifth inning. And Fletcher is up. Uh, that is a fly out to left field. And that brings up Pachorek. And Pachorek gets a fly out to right field with a possible um, uh, range check. And right field for the um, uh, Royals is an A. He's an A either way, and that is an out. So Pachorek is out as well, and the White Sox go very quickly in the uh, fifth inning by the score of 4-1. to one. And Al Cowens will be facing the new White Sox pitcher, who is Gene Nelson. And Gene Nelson is a pitcher C. And a pitcher see that it's a line out to shortstop for Cowens. Tom Paquette is up against a C. He gets a pop out to shortstop. So the shortstop busy here for the White Sox in the fifth, in the bottom of the fifth. And Freddie Pottak is up against a C. He gets a strikeout. So Gene Nelson comes in and he slams the door. Okay, top of the sixth with the uh, Royals leading 4-1 to one, and the White Sox are back at the top of the order but losing by three runs. And uh, they um, got Rudy Law, top of the order. Against a B pitcher, he gets a walk um, if the pitcher is a B, C, D, or an F at walking, and he is. So Rudy Law is aboard with a walk. Tim Hewlett is up. Hewlett against a B gets a, a walk if he's a C D or an F walking. I don't think he is. No. So that is going to be um, an out to the center fielder. One away. And that was Hewlett, right? Yep. Harold Baines is up. And Harold Baines against a B gets a swing. He is an A batter. And an A batter gets a deep fly to right field. Um, that's two away, but the runner advances to second on the deep fly. And Ron Kittle is up. And Ron Kittle gets a, against a B, gets a deep fly to right, but that's the third out. So the White Sox score nothing. And Frank White is going to step in. And this is Frank White with a uh, fly out to center field. So there's one away. Bob Stinson comes to the plate with one down, and he gets a uh, fly out to right field. And Amos Otis comes up to the plate, and he gets a swing, and he is a batter B. And a batter B gets a home run if he's a B or a fly out to right field. And he isn't, so he gets a fly out to right field. Top of the seventh with Hal Mc or with uh, with Carlton Fisk up for the White Sox. They're down four to one. They need three runs. That's still doable. They're still close enough. Um, against a B, he gets a swing, and um, he is a batter D. And a batter D gets a home run if he's a B at home run, and he is. 
So he gets a home run and puts the White Sox, gets the White Sox another run. And now the score is four to two. White Sox only losing by two runs now. Greg Walker is up. Against a B, he gets a swing, and he is a batter C, and a batter C gets a strikeout if uh, he is a CD or an F at striking out. And he is, so he does get a strikeout. That's one down, and Ozzie Gian up. Um, Ozzie Gian gets a swing. He is a... Uh, batter C plus and he gets a short fly to center field so that's two out I really thought the 85 White Sox would be better than this Fletcher is up and Fletcher gets a against a B gets a strikeout if the pitcher is an A B C or a D and he probably is and he is and so Fletcher strikes out And that will have to be it for Leonard when we come back because he's gone seven. And uh, the White Sox did get one off of him in the seventh, but his inning of weakness is the seventh. So they will bring in another pitcher. And Hal McCray is up against um, uh, Gene Nelson in his last inning. He's been very effective so far, though. And that's a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C at striking out. He isn't, so that's going to be a ground out to second base. That was Brett. Yeah, that was George Brett. So that's a ground out to second. He's out four to three in the seventh to lead off the top of the or the bottom of the seventh for the uh, Royals. John Mayberry's up. He gets a strikeout if the pitcher's an A, B, C, or a D at striking out, and he is. So that's two down. And Al Cowens is up at the plate. Two down. And uh, against the C, he gets a swing. And he is a batter C. And a batter C gets a ground out to shortstop. So he is out six to three. All right, top of the eighth, and the new pitcher for the uh, Royals is going to be Larry Gura. Larry Gura will come on. He was just a reliever that year. He only pitched um, 63 innings over 20 games with a 230 earned run average. And uh, he will be facing Pachorik to lead off the top of the eighth. He is a pitcher A, though, and against a pitcher A, he gets a walk. So Pachorik works a walk, which is nice. Um, we'll have to see if they can, if the White Sox can capitalize on that. And Rudy Law up behind him. And he gets, uh, against an A, he gets a swing. And he is a batter C, and a batter C gets a single with three... Um, asterisk so that means a run scored he got a single but the runner scored which is incredible I, I've seen that before in this game no idea why that happens but um, it's hard to imagine Pachorik scoring on a single from first but it must have been one hell of a single Tim Hewlett is up and against an A pitcher he gets a swing and also that scored a run, so I got to remember that. So now it's four to three. It's a very close game now. And Hewlett uh, gets a swing, and um, he is a batter C plus, and a C plus gets a ground out to second base, and uh, that is going to be a fielder's choice. So it's one way they get the lead runner. So, yeah, so there's only one out, and Harold Baines is up. Against an A pitcher, he gets a swing. He is an A batter, and an A batter gets a short fly to center field, so there's two out. And Ron Kittle comes up to the plate. We could really use a home run right here from, from Mr. Kittle. He gets a swing, and he is a batter D, 
and a batter D gets a home run if he's a C plus, and he is a C plus or better, and he gets a home run, two run shot for Kittle, and uh, we just scored two more runs. White Sox go ahead five to four with Carlton Fisk at the plate. And against an A, he gets a ground out to the shortstop with a possible error check. And the uh, shortstop for them is Patek, and his error rating is a D. And the error is an out. So Fisk is out 6-3. Um, to three. But not before the White Sox score two more runs and now have... Uh, wait. Get two more runs and they have five there. I don't know why my score card is messed up. But we're going to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth, it's 5-4 White Sox. The 85 White Sox leading the 76 Royals 5-4. And the new pitcher for the White Sox will be Bob James. And he's going to uh, pitch against Al Cowens. Or no, he's going to go, he's going up against Paquette. Paquette is the batter. Here in the bottom of the eighth with the Royals down by a run and needing a, needing a run pretty badly. Uh, Bob James is a pitcher A. So against the pitcher A, he gets a strikeout. If he's an A at striking people out, which he is not. So it's actually a fly out to left field. So Paquette is out to left, one away. Freddie Patek is up against an A pitcher. He gets a strikeout. It's two down for the Royals here in the eighth, and Frank White. The Royals would love to get through the bottom of their lineup because it's not very good. And he gets a strikeout. So Bob James comes in and whiffs two out of the three bats. I don't know how you pronounce it. In the top of the ninth inning, and uh, with um, Greg Walker at the plate for the White Sox. And the White Sox leading five to four. And Mingori is a B pitcher, and against the B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a batter C, and the batter C gets a single. So that's going to be a hit for Walker. Ozzie Guillen is up. And against, uh, what is he, a B pitcher, we said? Yep. And he gets a swing. And he is a batter C plus, and a C plus gets a ground out to second base. Um, is that one away or is that two? It is one away. It's a fielder's choice. So Guillen is out um, with a fielder's choice. One down, Scott Fletcher up at the plate. Um, and that is a, um, it's a swing. And Fletcher is a C batter, and a C batter gets a single with two asterisks. So that is going to be runners at the corners. Um, and Pachoric is up at the plate, and against a B, he gets a swing. And now the Royals pitching is just falling apart here. And he is a batter D. And a batter D gets a home run if he's an A home run, which he certainly isn't. Instead, it's a double three. So that knocks in two more runs. And uh, Pachoric doubles in two runs in the, in the persons of Greg Walker. And, or no, Ozzie Guillen, who was on by a fielder's choice, and Fletcher. And that's two more runs for the White Sox, who now take a 7-4 lead. And Rudy Law is up. 
against a B pitcher. He gets a swing. He is a batter C. And a C batter gets a strikeout if um, the uh, if the batter is a strike is a strikeout F, which he is not. So he actually gets an out to left field, a fly out to left field, two away. And that brings Hewlett to the plate. And Hewlett gets a swing against a B pitcher, and he is a C plus batter, and a C plus batter gets a walk if he is an A or a B at walking. And he is not, so that's going to actually be uh, an out to the pitcher. All right, bottom of the ninth, Royals losing 7-4. to four. Stinson was a scheduled hitter, but he's being pinch hit for by John Wathen. And uh, the... Um, pitcher is an A and so that gets a swing and Wathen is a B plus batter and a B plus batter gets a fly out to left, one away. Amos Otis is up against an A pitcher. He gets a swing. He is a batter B and a batter B gets a strikeout if the pitcher is an A at striking people out, and I don't think he is. He isn't, so that's actually going to be an out to the shortstop. Six to three, and the Royals are down to their last out. And Hal McRae at the plate, he gets a swing against an A pitcher, and he is an A plus batter, and he gets a single. So Hal McRae keeps them alive with a hit. And George Brett is at the plate. And against an A, he gets a walk. So Bob James walks a man, walks Brett, which is probably not a bad idea. And uh, that brings John Mayberry up with two on, two out, and his team down by three. And uh, he gets a swing against an A pitcher, and he is a batter D. And a batter D gets a ground out to the shortstop, six to three. And that is going to be that. Um, the... Royals of 1976 have lost to the 85 White Sox by the score of 7-4. to four. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.